It's Tuesday on Euro Football Daily, so that means only one thing. It's time for Euro Transfer Talk. There's a lot to squeeze into this episode, so let's get straight into it. We start in the Premier League with Leicester City, who are experiencing something of a down year after a couple of impressive seasons under Brendan Rodgers. After being on the cusp of qualifying for the Champions League in each of the last two campaigns, as well as lifting the FA Cup for the first time in their history just nine months ago, the Foxes currently find themselves languishing in 11th, closer in points to the bottom three than they are the top six. Unsurprisingly, this has led to speculation about the future of some of their key players and chief among those who face an uncertain future at the King Power Stadium is midfielder Yuri Tielemans. The Belgian, who scored from the spot in his size 2-2 draw with West Ham on Sunday, is now into the last 18 months of his deal in Leicester and could become a highly sought-after player this summer if he doesn't put pen to paper. Fellow Premier League sides Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, West Ham and of course the newly rich Newcastle United are all said to be interested in the 24-year-old. Whilst both Barcelona and Real Madrid have also flirted with the idea of signing Tielemans in recent windows. However, the reported £60 million asking price has put off any potential suitors. And despite some rumours suggesting that this has fallen to £35 million ahead of the summer, Rodgers hasn't given up hope of the Monaco man signing a new deal, although it's also conceded that Leicester have to be realistic. I think that obviously with his, his contract running down, then I'm pretty sure there will be teams look at them, but I'm also a realist as well. The reality is if a player does really well at Leicester, he may want to to leave and move on uh, to another club. For us, it's just been ready for that. Tielemans has been almost an ever-present for the Foxes over the past two years and has made 136 appearances for the side since his arrival, initially on loan in January 2019. But where do you guys at home think the best landing spot for Tielemans would be or should he just stay in the East Midlands? Let us know in the comments below. AC Milan are continuing to mount a serious title challenge this campaign and are currently a point ahead of rivals into Milan at the summit of Serie A, albeit they have played a game more. Regardless, they owe a lot of their success going forward to Rafael Leal, who has emerged as a club star this season after spending the last couple of years at the San Siro on the periphery. The Rossonieri paid Lille 23 million euros for his services back in 2019 and he saw his league minutes split roughly between starts and substitute appearances, but has gone from strength to strength this season, having already topped his best seasonal goal output whilst in Italy. The Portuguese international has 10 goals and 4 assists in 27 games, more contributions than any of his teammates across all competitions. Demonstrating his versatility as either a left winger or a central striker, the Jorge Mendes client is now attracting interest from both Arsenal and and Newcastle United, according to the unreliable Fichajes. Mikel Arteta's side are in desperate need of attacking reinforcements, having waved goodbye to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang last month, whilst their remaining strikers, Alexandre Lacazette and Eddie Nketiah, are both expected to leave on a free at the end of the season. Under contract until 2024, Liao is said to be valued at 60 million euros by his current employers, having quoted both Everton and Wolves a similar figure for a move last summer. Previously, the 22-year-old has been linked with a move to Manchester City, who were said to have been tracking the player since coming through the youth ranks at Sporting CP, whom he left in 2018 after cancelling his contract due to an attack on the club's training ground by fans. Of course, Newcastle are ready to splash the cash too. Now five games unbeaten under Eddie Howe, the Magpies have opened up a four-point buffer between them and the relegation zone, and survival seems to be looking more and more likely by the week. Securing their Premier League status for next season will make Newcastle a far more exciting prospect for any new potential signings, and it seems they're hopeful that Leal could well become one of those. To some managerial gossip next, as it's emerged that the new favourite for the Manchester United job is Eric Ten Hag. The Ajax boss and PSG manager Maurizio Pochettino have long been identified as the favourites to take over at Old Trafford once Ralph Rangnick makes the move from the dugout to the boardroom at the end of the campaign. And it's apparently because of their interim manager they will choose to pursue Ten Hag over Poch, with Rangnick having championed the Dutchman to United's new CEO Richard Arnold. According to some reports, the pair have held discussions and it seems Ed Woodward's successor is increasingly convinced that the 52-year-old is in fact the right man for the job. Ten Hag has only continued to boost his reputation this season, with his Ajax side often dominating in the Eredivisie and qualifying for the knockout rounds of the Champions League with a perfect record. He's one game away from 200 in charge of the Dutch Giants, having won 148 of those averaging 2.7 goals a game something that would stretch out to over a century of goals across a Premier League campaign. All of this comes despite the rumours that Manchester United players would prefer to see Pochettino on the touchline, 
something that Woodward was also pushing for following the sacking of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer back in November. But with PSG dismissing approaches from United for their manager, attention obviously turned away from the Argentine, with the club of course settling on Rangnick in an interim role. So according to reports in England, it appears United could be edging closer to appointing Ten Hag as their next permanent manager, despite the relationship between Poch and PSG said to be at breaking point. Last summer's big name arrivals of Gianluigi Donnarumma, Lionel Messi and Sergio Ramos were all said to be against his wishes leading the former Tottenham manager feeling undermined by the club's hierarchy. He's even reportedly considering leaving PSG in the summer, regardless of whether or not he's a job lined up. This would free him up to be appointed at Old Trafford and perhaps give him the edge over Ted Hag, even if he does go against Rangnick's preferences. So Man United fans, I want to hear from you guys at home. Who would you rather, Ten Hag or Poch? I mean, just get me to June at this stage. Back to Italy now for another player that could be on their way to the Premier League this summer. Nicolo Zaniolo finally seems to be finding his feet again after two serious injuries. He first suffered an ACL injury to his right knee which kept him out of the second half of the 2019-20 campaign and upon recovery from that the same thing happened to his left knee, ultimately ruling him out of the entirety of the 2020-2021 season too. This season he's back though and is a regular contributor under Jose Mourinho at Roma, having started 19 matches in Serie A, contributing 9 goals across all competitions, and will likely set a personal career high for most minutes in a campaign. So it really is no surprise as he is named once again linked with a move away from the Stadio Olimpico, just like he was before his injuries. Still only 22 years old and with a contract until 2024, Zanni is likely to command a premium fee. Although Roma are said to be optimistic, they can tie the eight-capped international down to a new deal until 2027. But with the Rossi stumbling somewhat in Syria now in seventh and six points outside the Champions League spots, they may well have blown their chance to keep hold of the starlet. As is the case with any Syria youngster, to be honest with you, Juventus are sniffing around. And according to reports, are joined by both Atletico Madrid and Liverpool in the race for the rangy winger, who was signed in a swap deal with Rajan Ingeland from Inter Milan in 2018. Jurgen Klopp's best chance of signing Zaniolo would be if one of their long-serving front three were to move on this summer. However, let's face it, after signing Luis Diaz and with reports suggesting Roberto Firmino is set to be offered a new contract and that securing Mo Salah's future is the top priority for the window, it's unlikely they'd move for the former Fiorentina youth product. That could well leave the door open though to either Juve or Atletico to make a move for the €33 million Euro rated star. We end this week with the news that Memphis Depay's time in Barcelona could be coming to an end after just one season with the club. That's because Calcio Mercato are reporting that he's been identified as the perfect replacement for Lorenzo Insigne by Napoli, with the Italian set to join FC Toronto upon expiration of his contract this summer. Depay has had a couple of injury issues this campaign, rolling him out for 11 games today, and with the arrival of both Ferran Torres and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang during the transfer window, it's likely to slip down the pecking order at the camp now. There's unlikely to be an issue between Barca and Napoli in regards to agreeing a fee for the 28-year-old Dutchman, although as it stands, his wages are far beyond the means of the Serie A title challenges. And let's not forget that Depay has scored 8 goals in 16 La Liga fixtures in what has been a transitional year for this Barcelona side. And if he can stay injury free, this would be a really impressive pickup for the Naples club. The only question here really is if the former Leon attacker wants to make the move or not. So that was today's episode of Euro Transfer Talk. Let us know if we missed any rumours in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.